interior of the PM. And here's the interior of the pressurized module. You're looking at the airlock inside, and above the airlock are the two windows that the crew can use for viewing the external facility and also the uh, GEM robotics operations. The uh, pressurized module was buttoned up and shipped out to uh, Kennedy Space Center on May the 2nd in 2003. Um, it was shipped to KSC, and it left uh, Yokohama Harbor on May 2nd. The module arrived at KSC on June the 4th, 2003, to a very excited KSC team. Uh, at that time, the planned launch was in 2004, but the uh, Columbia accident caused the delay that we have today. The GEM pressurized module weighs in at 32,500 pounds. It is 15 feet in diameter and 37 feet long. It's about the size of a large bus. Uh, the US lab, in comparison, is 28 feet long and 14 feet in diameter and the Columbus module is 23 feet long and 15 feet in diameter. At the uh, 1JA press conference, uh, JAXA stated that its cost was approximately 100 billion yen. Here's a shot of the crew working on the module at KSC. Um, they have a chance to work with the actual hardware itself to give them better experience at what they'll have to do on orbit. Some interesting facts from the Space Station Freedom Era. This flight was originally planned to be launched in two missions. The first was the pressurized module itself with the prime and redundant string of avionics. And the second mission brought up the uh, logistics module and the exposed facility. Uh, with the transition to the uh, ISS as it is today, with the different orbital inclination, we were forced to make the flight as it is today. As Matt mentioned, we'll have three arms in use for this flight. That's a first. Um, the JLP that flew up on 1JA was originally intended for multiple flights uh, for use like uh, an MPLM. Um, the GEM is the only element with a logistics module, an airlock, an arm, an exposed facility, and it will even have a forward and return link. 